push the T's out. They've got to rely on smoking the bomb and getting the defuse. do Thomas and Sticko just spamming away through the smoke though fighting for damage eventually we do actually see the advantage going in favor of no chance traded back though now a two or uh, rather a one-on-one -on -one. and Thomas up against the low HP player is able to easily find those needed bullets of the tech nine just spamming away we see no chance WP and misses the shot that's gonna cost him his life out in the open we're in with two versus three Knock doesn't catch that kill, and he's kind of forced to fall back now. They haven't got a lot of money. Great shot, though. He's going to be able to take Crystal down with the USP into a 2v2. I wouldn't even recommend falling back at this point. It's such an important round into a, into a 2v2. They've lost bonus built up, taking the AK, going to move it around towards ramp. And the spam onto ramp. Smoke goes down. Molotov in play as well. That's towards sandbags. Flash. Defuse tapped. Time's running down, though, up on top of the blue box. Nock is going to try to help out his teammate, and the defuse might just come through. Indeed, it does. Gamer Legion manage it just in time, getting a third round on the board, and it's... Sampus and falls back into, into a safe position. It was actually from behind, Ryder. He does get himself an AK as well to work with. Now Thomas trusted to actually hold down this bomb site. Gets all three on the AUG. No scope needed. 12 to 6 as the gun round goes in favor of no chance, and they're really running away with the lead now here on Vertigo. Hold with so little time, uh, so much time on the clock, and one player that you don't know where he is, he can come behind you. You have two players, it's not enough to cover all the angles. There's so many entry points into this bomb site, and Nox now going to try to hold it with just one. He has the, su the suspicion that the push is going to come over from the B bomb site. And indeed, he's reading those rotations correctly. The problem is they may just entry through the elevators where he currently is. Time's slow, though, so they don't really have the, the opportunity to do that as a team. It'll have to just be a one-man split. Thomas is on his own as he peeks on in, loses his head. Defuse not possible now as Nox swings out, takes Sticko down, and it's 15 to 10. Gamer, really he gets the information. What's Crystal doing? He was swapping weapon. Nox taken down, does damage to Zen at least, so a 1v2. Hampus... Fi oh my god, what a shot onto Sticko. 1v1, low HP on Zen, Molotov in play. Zen has no chance to stick that. He's got to go for the kill and defuse there thereafter. And this should be it. He has a kid in play though. If he can find this kill fast enough, the round could swing towards the CT side. Taps the bomb. He could have... Oh, he could have stuck it. That's heartbreaking. Hampus swings out, eventually finds the kill. Pros don't fake, man. Why are they going so alone on these retakes? Himself an AWP. Falls back a bit though. Not going to be peeking over anymore. He seems to think that they're already pushed up further than they are. Given them the room now to actually oh. do so. Oh! oh. Great flash. A second as well being found. This is scary. Screaming a 1v1. AWP from Michael Lele. He's got time on his side. Scream smoking him off. Oh, but that smoke hasn't hit. I don't think Scream knows that. He does now at least. But he hasn't got the bomb. He's still got to go back for it. Michael Lele watching him across. 36 seconds on the clock. This is, uh, this is so difficult for Scream to win. Look at the angle. Michael Lele's got all the time to react. And a headshot goes in to finish it off. A four-piece from Michael Lele. And Dean, you said you wanted to see them pulling it back. Finally, they're not losing the advantageous situation. This could be interesting. Nalk is coming in with an AWP, though. So he's very limited in going for these duels. He's looking for angles towards the bomb site, towards Palace. He'll look for ramp as well. But time is running low. They have to go for this eventually. Nox swinging in AWP in hand. Looks towards Tetris. Hoping somebody, anybody peeks him. Catches out a player. Actually finds the kill over towards Sandwich. And no Ooh. scope for Michael Layla is enough to finish it off. That said, the round was already over. There was no time to get the defuse after the kill. But he saves over an AWP because of it. And what a fantastic shot. Gives away his position. He's going to catch them off. They heard the Molotov. How have they not reacted? The spam gets a second as well. Nade through. Goodbye, Sticko, maybe. But no, just around the door. Around the wall, rather. Oh, oh this is scary. A 1v1. Sticko's got to be cautious of the apartments. Drops a Molotov. Gets out of there. This is a big mistake and a big yikes for no chance. I don't know how, th how this is being brought back. They heard HS and the Molotov. They heard the ticks. As he pushes forward, he's going to be caught out. No, he's not. He gets Sticko. Sticko had the angle. But HS gets the flick, gets the kill, gets the round. A 1v3. Continues on a phenomenal performance. He's going to go for the AWP. Pick it up. He even gets the Molotov. Why not? He's got all the time in the world. And now the defuse to go through. 
What is that? I mean, a one versus three, Dean. They had the advantage. They had the time. They had the positions. They had the... Here, USP out. Finds himself one, but not keeps on going. A double on the board. He's pulled it back into a man advantage for his team, but his position's known. It makes it so much harder to get anything done. Close range battle with the Glock going in over towards Kitchen, but Sticko's the one desperately trying to pull it back. Gets one. There's a second as well. Knock on two HP. This is going to be such an awkward fight. They both have USPs, though. The one-shot potential with a headshot, and Knock has to peek this. This is so awkward. Sticko knows he's there. He faked the jump out window, but Sticko was watching it, unfortunately. No time left, though. And that is going to be 11 to 4. Amory Legion have found themselves another round on the board despite the battles going the way of no chance. The time was in play for the T side. Yeah, it was a round that no chance did really need. Sticko doing his best, but. Again, it can be, but Zen pushing forward. He needs to get this done right now. Existence is back exposed. An easy frag comes true. Now it's all on Scream to try and save this round for Gamer Legion. A one on two. Zen up close on the bomb site already. Crystal coming in, gives away his position as the smoke goes down. They have no idea that Scream's just hiding in the back of the bomb site. An easy frag to be found. But he is in a bit of an awkward position. Problem is for Crystal, time's ticking away. He needs to get on as soon and as the, as the frag, rather, as the spray comes through from Scream, that is going to be the end of it. 16 to 5 here on Mirage. Map number 2 goes in favor of Gamer Legion. Yeah, happy with the man advantage. Don't really need to be getting a bit overzealous. The run boost comes true. Michaelele under a lot of pressure now. If he can just find one and stay alive, though, that'd keep them in a decent position because Sticko, of course, is in Goose. He's able to quickly find one as well. And another one, actually, is he drops the bomb in the meantime. And just continues the frag. They just can't deal with Sticko. He gets all of them. It's far from Goose. Fine, but Sticko just goes through, finds himself a double. Pretty much, okay, man, maybe not. I was going to say seals the round, but now into a 2v2, the time is so low, it's so hard to get the bomb planted. Crystal gives away his position. Has he snuck down there undetected? He just doesn't seem aware of it. The jump peak is certainly going to give it away. And he actually finds a kill with the AUG jumping on up. Finds the second player in the headshot. Crystal, what a play. He's been playing so well in this series. And no better exemplification than right there. Three opening jewels. And now a clutch under his belt. 180 ore on the board. And this is a different crystal to what we normally see. Yeah, he's been playing pretty well throughout the entire series so far. Back on that uh, on that initial map as well, also did have a really good performance over on Vertigo. And uh, a massive clock straight into the AWP of Nock. The utility pushing him back, though. Allowing them to approach the bomb site for now at least. Not going out for the re-peak. And he doesn't catch the shot though. Bomb plan to go down. Short control in favor of the T side, at least for now. But HS takes down Crystal. They're trapped on the bomb site. They're going to be approached from every angle. HS with three. And he's looking for the fourth. Thomas getting spammed through the wall. Sees that out. HS is hungry. And he's eating well today. A four piece to close it out. The quad kill and an eighth round on the board for Gamer Legion. What a monster. What a hold.